any the engagement with President Modi. Uh, to what extent is he looking to pressure them or urge them to uh, toughen their approach on both Russia and China? I think pressure is just the wrong word. I mean, that's not how President Biden operates. He will look for the opportunity to speak with both of them about the constructive role that each country can play. Is the president going to have the opportunity to engage with President Lula and for if there is that opportunity, uh, both for him and for any the engagement with President Modi, uh, to what extent is he looking to pressure them or urge them to uh, toughen their approach on both Russia and China? I think pressure is just the wrong word. I mean, that's not how President Biden operates with these key leaders with whom he has deep relationships like President Lula and President Modi. But he will look for the opportunity to speak with both of them about the constructive role that each country can play uh, in supporting the most basic and fundamental element of any outcome, which is sovereignty and territorial integrity, which is sacrosanct in the UN Charter. And of course, Brazil uh, has supported several of the key UN General Assembly resolutions in this conflict. The president will thank President Lula for that. And the reason Brazil has supported them is because the underlying element of those resolutions has been this principle. So that's really where the president wants to drive things in the conversation with the um, the key emerging economies who will be here. He will also want to talk about a lot of things beyond Ukraine, including PGII, how we mobilize uh, investment in those countries, how we evolve the multilateral development banks, how we deal with the debt burdens these countries are facing. So Ukraine will be a topic, but one of several key topics that we, he will have with these countries.